Hey YouModMitch it's Mitch at ModMai.com. Today we're going to be talking about the top 5 tweaks for the previous week. The first one I'm going to share with you is called Ultra Widget. This is one of my favorites and what this does, it allows you to add a little widget to your screen and this is what it looks like. It's very simple to set up and what makes it unique is it shows the highs and lows, the weather for today. And you see you got the uh, city label there. And if you don't want those seconds ticking, you can remove that. And it even has this battery percentage stamped in right there. Right above the forecast, the six-day forecast. That 44% is how much battery I have left. So to go in and set this up, you just need to go in and install that and once it's installed first you need to hold your finger down on the screen get the little pop-up there's ultra widget now here's where you need to make some changes if you want different kind of icons on it here we can just go with the white just so you see what it is we'll change everything around okay what was white will change black what was black will change white okay here's the black background let's change this to none and the refresh button will make it clear battery outline will leave it I can't remember what our background was we'll leave it white battery fill white we'll say colors and show battery we'll leave that on GPS if you have a uh, widget weather installed you can use your GPS loading spinner here's where you need to put your zip code in and we're going to go Beverly Hills 90210 the infamous Beverly Hills display seconds I'm turning that off here you can turn on and off the US city and the neighborhood I'll turn that on and temp unit will leave it at Fahrenheit and it updates every 15 minutes and it's in English language and we'll tap add and then we're going to hold our finger on there and pull it down and see we have sort of a clear background which it don't look that bad. I mean, you could change your wallpaper to something darker. You've got your battery in there, that little round thing in the top right corner. That's your refresh button. If you want to refresh it yourself, you just tap that. And you see it updated my battery status now is 29%. Pretty awesome, guys. Check it out. It's called Ultra Widget, and you can get it for $0.99 cents in the Max City Repo. The next one we're going to look at is called Insta Enhancer. You can get this in the big box for free. And Insta Enhancer is an Instagram tweak, and it adds several things to Instagram. All right, so if we go in here, all right, now we'll open up my Instagram here and show you a few things that it's added. And if you want to double tap, you can make a, you can like a picture, and it'll ask you if you want to do it, yes or no. I'm gonna tap yes. And under the little dots there, you got more options to choose from. Here you can save it now. If you want to save it to your camera roll, it'll save it directly into your photos. And you saw that image was saved right there. And you can do a lot of different things with this tweet, guys. You can change up the number of followers you have up here. If you want to go into your settings here, and you'll see down here at the bottom, uh, number of followers, enter the number. So I'm going to put in something like 34, 5, six eight number of following and I'll put uh, come on man just some just something random and number of likes I'm gonna just put something random on it too so we'll turn those on and we're gonna click apply and now when we go to our profile it should have updated that for us and you see it did we have 34,000 followers and 34,000 following and that's how it works guys uh, it even allows you to increase and decrease the font see how much larger my font is that comes from the setting that you saw over here right here the uh, the bigger font and you even have a black keyboard Instagram app itself so if you were going to go in here and tap write a comment you see now I have a black keyboard 
That's called Insta Enhancer, and it's free. The next one is one of my favorites called Notific 8. And what this is, guys, it's a notification tweak, and it removes... Here it is right here, Notific 8. And it does require a respring if you change up anything on it. So let's go in here to the City of Store and pull it up. And you see it requires iOS 7 and above. And it makes your notification center look like iOS 8 beta. It gets rid of the misc, missed notifications tab. So if we drop that down, you see now we have the today and we have notifications. That's what it does. And it's pretty cool itself. It adds an edit button for quick access to the notification center settings a new style attribution widget option to hide the attribution text so if we pull that down we should have a big edit button right here at the bottom and that's it and if you tap that it'll take you to the notification center settings and you can turn on and off anything or whatever you want to fix in here that's called notific 8 the next one we're going to look at guys is called Rendaria, and you can get it for $1.99 in the Big Boss repo. What Rendaria does is it adds several different professional image editor to your camera and photo app. So let me show you what I mean. So if we open the photos up here, you see I have taken a picture of my little dog here earlier to share with you guys. And down here at the bottom, we have all these different settings here, filters, adjustments, effects you can add if you just want to add an effect like something like that you know where it focuses directly in on it or you can change it up to whatever you want it to be now you can also add text you can add uh, blurs you can rotate it you can resize it you can add emoticons if you want to add a little smiley face on there right beside it it's like so and then just tap ok then you know you could share that on facebook or twitter or whatever but going in here to the settings you can actually set up rendaria and enable it to do whatever you want it to do see if you don't want to use all these settings you just turn the ones you don't want off and they won't show up and if you have something that you want that's not listed there you can add customization here and you can you can you know do things to the top bar bottom bar Wherever it is you want to do, you know, you can set it up pretty much however you want. For a dollar ninety nine, guys, you can't beat it. And if you enjoy taking pictures and enhancing them on your iPhone or iPad, it's definitely a tweak that I know you're going to enjoy. So grab it today in the Big Boss Repo for a dollar. The next one we're going to look at is called Dark Folder Seven. This makes your iOS seven folders dark as well as the background and I can show you what that looks like here on the springboard as you can see I have a photography folder and an arcade folder and they look very dark just sitting there like that so they're don't stand out nearly as bad and when you open them up that background is a little bit darker as well and they have a couple settings you can change in here if you go into the dark folder 7 settings, you have your enable toggle and you have a darkened folder icon and a darkened folder background. I'm going to turn the darkened folder background off and I'm not sure if it required a respring. I think it will. So let's go ahead and do a respring and see what this looks like on the other side. Now remember when it comes back up, we have the darker option chose the first time so it should be lighter this time so when we get our respring completed we'll go back in and take a look and see just exactly how it looks so i did enable a different theme so don't bother with that but anyway as you can see it is a little bit lighter not a great deal but there is a little bit of difference there and this is called dark folder 7 it's free and if I'm not mistaken, it's in the Big Boss repo. Don't forget, guys, to hit that subscribe button before you go. Share this on Facebook and Twitter. Follow ModMod.com on Facebook and Twitter. And keep coming back.